uh, I'm very happy to be here again after five or six years and to start with a new teaching, which is the training in UNESCO World Heritage Studies. Happy to be here with Marina, Marina Paizina, that she will give a brilliant lecture about this topic, <laughs> who will be the trailer or the cherry on top of the cake for my program, for our program, which I am going to do with Massim Massimiliano Vigarello and Rossella Riscica, my four students now there, graduated architects. The, the course is divided, more or less, in four modules. The first one is trying to understand why we have to conserve the origins of the concepts, philosophy, of restoration. Uh, today it may sound very easy, you know, being in Venice, of course you have to restore such a beautiful city and such a beautiful environment. But once upon a time, and not many decades ago, this was not take, uh, taken for granted. The erosion of cultural heritage and the change as in humans you grow and you die, and therefore you change parts, big parts of the cities, of the landscape, of the environment. So fathers and mothers of restoration, who were they? It started two centuries ago, and it would be nice for us and for you together to understand this philosophical, theoretical approach to conservation up to the present day. You will see there are many, many changes on this. The second module will be to get acquainted for the today's, the nowadays procedures on nominating a site. What does it mean to nominate a site? You, you learn it by Marina, what, what it means. But it means to, to give to the site a very important, outstanding value, which leads the community to preserve it forever. So the concept of preservation of an important site and uh, sustainability, they go together. And for that, we will provide a few examples in four or the five areas of the world. We will start with, with Europe, and we will talk about Warsaw and the reconstruction of Warsaw after the war, which is a World Heritage Site. And all the topics of reconstruction, it are very controversial. We will understand that there is not just one theory, but there is also the opposite theory of, of the main theory. It will be interesting. It's, you know, it's, it's a challenge on that. And then we will move to Central and South America, to Cartagena de Indias, or Colombia, or maybe to Mexico City. I just came back from there and maybe we have another nomination to describe you and to talk about that. And then we will move to Libya. Libya is a nice country, very interesting today. You know, the war is ending, more or less, and we will be, we'll go back there and understand the differences between an archaeological uh, nomination, World Heritage Site, like in um, Leptismania, a Roman, beautiful, enormous city, and the old town of Gadames in the desert nowhere, beautiful place, with all the problems. Then we'll move to Japan, of course, Japan, and we will learn something about the nomination of Shirakawa-go and Gokayama, uh, in which the nomination, not simply uh, urban and uh, village nomination, but also the landscape together. And uh, we will end with a discussion on the Nara Declaration, 1994, in which the, the Far East uh, won many positions against the hard uh, theory of, of restoration, European-centered. So the wood, the soft materials, are winning against the stone and the bricks. The third module will be nomination fieldwork. How does a nomination work? What is it? How it works? What are the procedures? And it's a technical and theoretical approach together. 
and uh, I am presenting you personal experiences. The first one will be in Armenia, a, a failed nomination. Why the nomination was not accepted by the UNESCO? We told the problems of being back, culturally backwards, of the Soviet Union towards Europe and the world. The theory was very, very different. They, they were utilizing uh, the theories of Violetta Duke two, 200 years before. Years. Then the, we will move to Bosnia-Herzegovina in the old city of Mostar, and we will talk about the reconstruction of the bridge. So social, political matters are going to interfere with architecture and urban studies. And then eventually we will move to, to Kathmandu Valley in Nepal. Very interesting experience. We took, some, we took something, 30 students were done, master students, last year students, and we, we surveyed something like 5,000 buildings in, in Kathmandu Valley, which has a, a multiple nomination, uh, because it was in the list of, of uh, list in danger, so it was going to be kicked out by the list, and then maybe also with our help, we recovered in some way, and it concluded in, in a positive way. And then eventually, it's the, the Venice nomination exercise, and we will work on, not on the nomination of Venice, but we will try to understand what was the meaning in 1987. Who cared about the nomination in Venice? Nobody, almost up to five years ago. And Venice is what heritage site? Amazing, are you sure? Yeah, it is. And uh, now the problem is in Venice is the management plan, how we have to manage such an important city under threat by the flooding and by the tourist flooding and many other elements which are the aging, getting old and decayed of the city. And we will write a sort of, of not a manual, but a sort of a guidelines for the, master, for the management plan of the city of Venice. Thank you very much.